going up the country. I'll tell you who's going up the country. Kane and Bosler and a trip south, guys. How are you guys doing out there? Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys are going down the country, all the way down the coastline. And you guys, tell us where you are right now, Kanan. We are in Port McNeil. It's our, our first day on Vancouver Island. All right. So that's a that's a great that's a that's been a sort of mini goal all along, right? Getting to Vancouver Island's been a big deal. Big goal. Yeah, it's kind of uh Big goal. I, you're right. Big goal. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound like it was a small thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's much yeah, more than on. I've ever done. I know. <laughs> 75 days, man. It took us 75 days to get here. Wow. I can't, I can't believe it's been 75 days. It seems like it's gone quickly this summer. How's it gone for you guys? Quick. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah, huh? it's definitely uh, the days are flying by, but each one is packed with tons of fun and and uh, we can't, couldn't ask for anything better, I don't think. Last time we talked to you, you guys had had a lot of great experiences. Anything happened in the past month or so since we last talked to you? Any? I'm sure there's lots that's happened, but anything that stands out on the, some of the spectacular days or close calls, things like that? The open ocean. Open yeah. ocean. Out in the open yeah. ocean. We spent some time uh, crossing Cape Caution over the past week and were exposed to some pretty big swells, and we had to time it right so that we were using the tides and not putting ourselves in bad situations. So the past couple of days, we've all been waking up at like five in the morning and well, three in the morning, getting going at five in the morning. And, uh, so, so we've been doing some pretty, uh, full on paddles the past couple of days, but looking forward to relaxing back in the inside passage now. Yeah. So th that, that is uh, hairy stuff. Now, would you, was the weather considered pretty favorable for your crossing or was there, uh, you know, was it a little bit uh, touch and go? No, we, we couldn't have asked for better conditions. Actually, it's it's been pretty much hot and sunny for I'd say like ninety percent of the past three weeks. With calm, yeah. yeah, yeah, calm waters too. Calm waters as well, yeah, and um, and, and not a lot of wind and not a lot of. Uh, I guess you guys, we've been getting, of course, so much rain in Juneau, but it sounds like you guys maybe have had some pretty decent weather. Yeah, you guys just are timing it wrong, man. You you got to know where to be at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we'll yeah. We, I mean, you know, there's only so much we can do, though. You guys are mobile. Get some paddles, dude. <laughs> Get some paddles. All right. All right. It's good advice. It's good advice. Well, what's going on? So tell me a little bit about what happens now for you guys. You're on Vancouver Island. What's you know, a couple of your crew are coming back. I think is that right? Or already on their way? Is that what's happening next? Yeah, we're um, David trying to find a way to hitchhike down the island today. Actually, he's taking off trying to get back to school. Um, Four year bus, long time ago. He yeah. got enough. Yeah, <laughs> he's sick of us already. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the rest of the crew then is getting back in the boats in the next day or so, and we're gonna keep going. And are we down to nine guys, nine nine uh, men and women there? Is that what's going on? Yeah, we lost Will and Mallory a couple of days ago to a tragic uh, octopus. <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just caught a ride back up north, right on a boat. No, yeah, they're, they're, they're coming back they're, to school. Uh, hook up with um, what was the guy's name? Larry. Larry. Larry on the on the Karina. Nice. The boat. So they they crossed paths and hopped on and. They're on a trip north now. So. Very nice, and yeah. uh, and uh, so uh, yeah, you watch out for those giant squid, though, you guys. They will grab you, right out of the water. They'll just gra they'll just come plunging up. You won't even see them coming. So just please have some repellent on hand or something. <laughs> How about campsites? Tell me about your campsites. Have you been able to find good places? You had any uh, wildlife encounters? Anything like that? Uh, we've been on white sandy beaches, baking in the sun, eating mangoes, banana trees everywhere. <laughs> I think you went a little far there. Wait a minute. I believed you up until the mangoes. <laughs> By bananas and mangoes, she meant huckleberries and uh, blueberries and salmon. But it's true. I heard that you have found these white sandy beaches, right? Like beautiful, gorgeous beaches that you guys are actually able to go camp on and hang out on, huh? Yeah, it's 
been awesome. Pretty much uh, for the past week, it's been it's been sandy beaches nonstop, and uh, I guess that's kind of what you get for exposing yourself to the open ocean. You get kind of some uh, different types of campsites, whereas usually for most of the trip, we've been working our way up rocky beaches, and we always find cool spots, but the past week in particular has been particularly uh, beautiful, I guess, as far as your, your, your generic description of paradise. So uh, you're camping on these beaches that are sort of exposed in the open area. Anything surprising you find on the beaches? You find any tsunami stuff? You find any other signs of man out there? It's such a remote place, but it seems like everywhere you go, you do find impacts of, uh, of man, and that's a, bit of, that's a part of what your whole uh, trip is all about, is trying to find sustainable ways to live. Pan, baby. Pan. Pan, baby. <laughs> yeah, we, we, uh, I think we were missing, uh, we talked to some folks, some sailors, and they said that they've been kind of tracking the tsunami, the wave of the tsunami debris, and they said it's still working its way across the Pacific, so it hasn't really slammed the coast over here yet. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely made us think a lot as far as, like, you know, this is kind of, what we're seeing now it could be sort of its its last phase of this state before all that stuff comes over and litters all the beaches. So pretty pretty interesting. But right now the beaches you're finding are pretty pristine. Is there fishing gear, stuff like that you're finding a lot of, or just basically pretty pristine beaches? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously tons of plastic and, and lots of litter all over the place, but I think it's about to reach a whole new level once all that stuff comes over. Right. Well, tell me about the next phase of your trip and when you get to, you've already been 75 days in, how many more days till you get to the bikes and to the, sort of the next phase and what do you got ahead of you here immediately? Well, we're uh, working our way down the inside passage, the east side of Vancouver Island. Um, final destination in the kayaks is Nanaimo and we got a lot of cool stuff to see in between here and there, so... We'll see how the timing works out with that. We're we got different folks on the trip have different commitments as far as getting back to school and whatnot. So we're trying to make it down to uh, Nanaimo as best we can in in good fashion, uh, and then probably have a week or two of downtime before we transition to the bicycles and start working our way down the coast of uh, Washington. So. Excited for the future, for sure. Well, it's good to know you guys are 75 days in and everything's going great so far and uh, that you guys are uh, doing well. You guys, everyone's listening. You got any shout-outs here for folks back here in Juneau? Yeah, Ryan Lindsay, let's like to say what up. Uh, your boy, G. <laughs> All right, that one out to Ryan. All right, very cool. Hope you guys had fun rocking out to reggae at the Haines Fair. Heard it was a good time. Yeah, yeah we, we we just met some bikers uh, that started in Anchorage a month ago, and we just ran into them here, and they took the ferry down, and they said they got to go to the Haynes Fair, so we're pretty jealous of them. The Haynes Fair was supposed to, I didn't get to go, but it, everyone said it was a great time this year, absolutely. Yeah, but I also want to make sure that uh, we put the word out and uh, thank all of the people that have helped us along the way, as, long as, as far as getting here, everyone that came to our party and and uh donated in different ways and especially all of our local sponsors abac has been awesome cycle alaska art such aurora project nugget alaskan outfitter kxl of course helped us out quite a bit and uh the alaskan brewing company also helped us out so not not to uh, make this too much of a uh, commercial broadcast but uh Definitely want to thank all those people that really put a lot of work and time into helping us get here because we were just loving every minute of it. And Heck yeah, man. This community came together and helped see you guys off in style. Absolutely. Well, um, sure. you guys, good luck out there. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. And call us back in whenever you can, all right? All right. Yeah, we should have more chances for cell phone service from here on. So uh, hopefully be giving you more more freaking updates if we can sounds great well thanks you guys thanks everyone hey shout out everyone out there let's hear it yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, guys. Thanks a lot. They are certainly on a slow ride. Here's some fog at. <laughs>